want to get more on the implications for investors now. I'm joined by Steen Jacobson. He's the chief economist at Saxo Bank and has been in the banking industry for more than 20 years now. Joins me live from Copenhagen. Good to see you. Thanks so much for speaking to us. So I guess you could say I mean, initial reaction of Bin Laden's death, a positive thing for sentiment. Investors seem to be seeing it as a reason to buy. Yeah, the knee-jerk reaction clearly was both valid and understandable. But I'm afraid it's going to be a 24-hour celebration before we get back to basis, which is that the globalization issues is still at risk. And specifically for Europe this week, we have both Portugal and Finland starting the process of uh, getting a government. So I think there's plenty of obstacles ahead. But for today, it's both valid and, 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 and reasonable to see the market risk on. So when you look at your overall investment strategy, what is at the forefront of your mind right now? If we look at the risks first, I'm mostly concerned about the dollar weakness. Uh, as an investment scenario, I think it's okay as long as we have a slow grinding dollar lower. Uh, I think the risk is for the present that we will see an escalation back on the, uh, based on the uh, press conference last week, which secured us low rates for longer. And then at the same time, we see the positioning in the market, uh, which is, to my surprise at least, sees that the retail investor continues to be long the dollar, not short as is perceived by the market. So I think there is a, a, a slight increase in risk uh, of uh, seeing uh, a dollar starts to really go strong, go weaker. And I think that will be negative for the market overall. In terms of the positive side, obviously, we see a rotation out of fixed income. People tend to want to be in a tangible asset or a tangible alike uh, asset like uh, uh, stocks. And then we see that people take money out of fixed income and take the, uh, put them into the equity market, which to me would indicate what I see is a, a skeptical bullish market with a target of 1,400 in the S&P. So this will be a good thing for stocks? Oh, well, first of all, this incident in itself is good for stocks. Low rates for longer has in the past been good for stocks, but I think we're getting stressed in terms of valuation. My medium long-term target has for a long time been 1385, 1400, which is almost where we are this morning. So uh, for me, we are at fair value in terms of what we can expect from, from this low rates for longer. And I think adding to this the increase of uh, escalation of the dollar weakness and a central bank, which is almost dogmatic in its approach to monetary policy. Uh, and here I'm uh, addressing the fact that uh, it seems like Bananke, everything he talks about is according to the Fed projections. And if you look at Fed projection, it didn't get us anywhere in terms of projecting and expecting uh, the crisis in 2008 and it continues to be an underperforming model relatively to what I call the crisis management economy which we still clearly So using. tell me what will the combination of an extended period of low interest rates in the US while we see rates in Europe and Asia being hiked how is that going to manifest itself on the markets you're speaking about a weaker dollar how is this going to impact the dollar would you go as far as to say we could see a crisis? Yeah, because if you think about it, just let's take uh, Japan as an example. Japan now needs a serious increase in, in terms of their investments to deal with the tsunami. And what they will do ultimately will be to repatriate some of the globalization, uh, the export capital they've been doing. If Japan starts to export less capital, there'll be re less recycling of capital going on, less purchasing of U.S. Uh, fixed income. And, and then you have sort of started a chain reaction of lower demand for dollars. I think we, we are at the boiling point of this right now because Japan is doing what they are, effectively doing a QE free light for the world. And then, as you say yourself, I mean, China continues to tighten monetary policy, which ultimately must mean that they will try to force their demand to be more domestic driven. So there is, in all economies which is running at full throttle, there are a drive towards being more domestic in terms of consumption and that takes away from the credit cake the globalization cake which is yeah. based in dollars and hence i think that we have a risk of a weaker dollar oh, steen jacobson great to talk to you saxo bank thanks very much